We got some issues going on in the NFL offseason. We're not just talking about free agency. We got to touch on this because it's one of the hottest button topics. It will never be dropped until the case is dropped. Deshaun Watson has been accused of allegedly asking women for things, uh, forcing women to do things, massage parlor activity. Twelve women have come forward. Now, here's my here's my knee jerk reaction. Okay, you want to talk about a guy who is under the microscope right now because he doesn't want to be in Houston anymore, and he's made that clear. Okay. When the, when the Texans traded away, or got rid of, I'm sorry, they didn't trade him, they got nothing for him. When they released J.J. Watt into the wild, something was up. And I felt something. I mean, something's that. been up. Something's been up because, look, again, Bill O'Brien trades away Hopkins for a bag of balls. Yeah, but I get where you're going. We'll, we'll, well, as, yeah. I, as I progress. Not here. to bash the Houston franchise well, even more than I, I have. Will, I will going. bash yeah. the Houston uh, the franchise because, look, oh, this, right. this is what's happening here. So if J.J. Watt, Captain America... Says, I don't want to be here anymore, okay? Something's wrong, okay? Something's definitely wrong. Either be the ownership, GM, head coach, whatever. Something is broken in Houston. Now, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Deshaun Watson has been the most polarized person saying that he doesn't want to be there anymore, okay? He wants out. He can't get out. There is no, there's a no trade clause. He, he's trying to, to narrow down the teams he wants to go to. Teams aren't given enough, blah, 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 blah. He can't get out of Houston. Now, he's been verbally saying, I'm done in Houston. I don't want to play here anymore. That's on record. This is where I had the problem. All of a sudden, his name is being dragged through the mud by these 12 women. And I am, I am tired. I am very tired of this guilty until proven innocent method that this world has turned into. You are innocent until you are proven guilty. Deshaun Watson has people speaking out about him. All of a sudden, people are saying, and and the feeling around the room is that he's guilty. And that, my friends, is bullshit. And I'm not talking about bullshit of being guilty. He could very well be guilty. But I don't think it's right that that's the knee-jerk reaction that because all these girls are coming... The first girl came for a six-figure settlement. I'm going to explain. And now the people are jumping on board how, like it's a class action lawsuit. How I'm going to explain why it's not necessarily 12 girls coming forward. What it is, is there's a lawyer who has a client who came forward. Right. Right. The first massage therapist came forward. What happens in these cases is um, they look for more precedent. And the lawyer's now job is to go seek out other women that might... Build a case. So build a case, right? essentially. This hasn't gone to a grand jury, even though they plan to, which is semantics. They always send it to a grand jury because it strengthens their case. Whether it goes through, you know, whether he gets indicted or not is another story. Right. But whether they think that they're going to send it to a grand jury just to strengthen their civil suit. Um, There hasn't been 12 women come forward. There's been... 12 women who have maybe now this lawyer is the saying, lawyer is hawking. I have 12 women. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of hearsay involved at this point until it gets court documents and, and the investigations get concluded. It's not fair. Right. To drag somebody through the mud. They are understandably, this man's understandably name. in a pub with a public figure, you're guilty until proven innocent. And that's just the way society goes. It's, it's relatively and I know that garbage, this is, but I know that you want to get to this and you're, you know, what happens with Watson now? Because, there is no criminal charges filed. Ooh, this, um, this kind of this is this is throwing me. This is giving me a flashback. Yeah, there is Gooch. no criminal charges filed. There is um, sexual misconduct alleged, mm-hmm. right? He didn't lose any civil suit yet. This is all preliminary. The NFL launched an investigation as they should. Yeah, right? sure. Which is yeah. not news. You know, the NFL is going to launch things. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say. People are saying that there's a smear campaign by the Texans owner, it could knowing be. the lawyer. Which would be fucking nuts to me. That's Absolutely like worse than the Washington Washington Redskins scandal, if not on par with what's going on with Washington. Yeah, you absolutely, know? bro. If somebody literally says to like their friends around their close circle, "This guy wants out." Yeah, we'll see about. But that. I think that that's a little. It is. It's that's extreme. a high, That's a, that's a knee very crazy. Extreme. Nobody. I I don't think that that could be possible. I'll tell you right now, though. I'll tell you right now, Roger. I know you're listening. I know this is what I was alluding to. I know you're listening, Roger. 
And Are they going to suspend talking about Roger Goodell, the commissioner of the NFL, wherever Deshaun Watson winds up, whether it be in Houston or he's traded to the Jets or he's traded to the Dolphins, whatever, if he doesn't miss the first six games of this regular season, I'm going to lose my shit because of the garbage that you put Ezekiel Elliott through in 2017. See. Not one case, not one charge, not one ounce of evidence, and you you suspended Ezekiel Elliott for six games, and the Cowboys' season was lost. You took a season away because you felt like, you felt it to suspend this guy. So that's all I'm saying. Treat it, even playing field. I don't give a shit if 95 more girls come through. Because this is an investigation, Deshaun Watson gets six games, minimum. See, I disagree for the sole fact that... I'm going to throw something. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I'm, I understand your side of it, but it's yeah, the same... Right, it's, not, it's not coming from a Cowboys fan. It is, but it is. You know, you hear the argument all the time about... I'm just going to... I know... Bear with me, guys. Mm-hmm. But when you hear... We'll, we'll equate to, like, the Baseball Hall of Fame, mm-hmm. how there's never been a unanimous guy. Then Matt Mariano gets it. He's mm-hmm. unanimous. And then the next season, Jeter comes along, and it's like... have vote. Could, you know, one vote short, and it's because, like, well, nobody, if Willie Mays wasn't unanimous and this wasn't unanimous, you know. That is a good point. You know, it doesn't, it's not fair to Watson because they got it wrong with Zeke that they should get it wrong with him as well, especially given well, all the. I'm saying they set the precedence right yes, there. Yes, exactly. Right. Which now they have a problem on their hands because, like, they did set the precedent, and I know that they're not going to be able to divulge details of their investigation. And did Zeke even get charged? Did he no! Even he might have settled out of court just to <laughs> shut it the fuck down. He settled out of nothing. There was nothing there. There was a whole, there was a whole text chain that so basically I think, said, let's I think get them, guys, it or could girls, be, It or could whatever. be lesson learned, you know, by the know NFL. I hope. I hope. And I hope that he gets to play until something comes of it because well you yeah know, exactly so that's what happened with Zeke. it's not like all these things went to grand juries and all this other shit there's a couple he things that I'll them say. through seven there's games a couple and things all of a sudden they're like, oh, one now. one what are these dudes like if I'm an NFL player and I'm getting a massage it's going to be from some fucking dude right no offense no God, offense like, but the fuck dudes that have why would the hands you okay? know what you are we entourage, here for right Ken from the Hard Rock <laughs> you know Come on. it's the same thing with like drinking and driving like call a fucking Uber. You know what I mean? Like it's it's irresponsible for somebody who's in college and has no money. To I not, thought about to that not the other Uber. Day. You know what I mean? But an NFL player who's got all the fucking money in the world, right. Uber XL, bro, call the fucking Escalade here? and come pick you up. What are we doing? What is? And I'm pretty sure if you line it up right, the NFL PA provides a car service. The problem with that is the <laughs> they players don't want anybody crashing cars. Thought they stole with, but the somebody. players don't want to be tracked like that, right? And that's which why I get, I get that part. You want your privacy, and but guess what, bro? Don't you, suspend Watson. On my behalf, suspend him on his behalf. Yeah. And, yeah. and just so we're clear, NFL GMs still want to trade for Watson. Well, now they don't. No, they do. Oh, they still do. Oh, they do. I read some articles, and it was like... Oh, yeah, Schefter actually yeah. said it. He it, said, it oh, was this, like, this doesn't affect any of his trade value. It does affect... Said, what? It's like, like, well, the investigate. We have to wait and see. Everything we've heard about Deshaun is that he's a great guy, and he checks all the boxes on the field. <laughs> he's checking a whole lot of boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uncle Dude, Steve. That was good. I give myself that's or Coach that. Steve. Anyway, Deshaun Watson, something's got to give. That story will develop and develop and develop until it's done. I hope. I hope it's one. Well, either way, if he's a dog, he's a dog, and that's it. You put him in a doghouse. If he's not a dog, and just clear that guy's name because that's not fair. That right. is totally not fair to Deshaun Watson. But I digress. 